Hey, and welcome to the Ambitious Bookkeeper podcast. I'm Serena Shoup. I am a CPA and mom of three, and I'm running a virtual bookkeeping business mostly from my home. You're in the right place if you're a bookkeeper, accountant, or an accounting student, and you know that your purpose is bigger than sitting in a cubicle. If you're ready to learn some actionable tips and strategies to help you start and grow a bookkeeping or accounting business, I hope you stick around. Welcome back to the Ambitious Bookkeeper Podcast. I'm Serena Shoup, your host, and today I have a really special episode. I'm actually bringing in three very special and powerful women in the accounting space, Katie Farrow, Kayla Hill Trawick, and Noemi Aguilar Horta. These three women are some of the other accounting and bookkeeping specific course creators that I asked to provide their top advice to you as course creators in our specific niche. This is a continuation of a series that I'm putting together around creating courses, as so many people in our community have asked about creating courses, and these women bring real, solid, not sugar-coated advice about creating courses. I'm honored to have these women on the podcast and being able to provide more perspective. I'm linking all of their information in the show notes of this episode so you can connect with them and their programs or communities. Now, without further ado, here is Katie. Hi, I'm Katie Farrow, CPA, self-proclaimed reformed rule follower, corporate escapee, and mama to three little ones. I built my bookkeeping business to surpass my corporate tax manager salary, working only the hours I used to commute and without relinquishing my stay-at-home mom crown. Now I continue to run my bookkeeping business while also helping accountants and aspiring bookkeepers build a bookkeeping business that actually supports their ideal life. I've been in the online space and using Kajabi since 2018. I have two courses I'm most known for at this point, one that teaches the technical skills of bookkeeping for a simpler in-demand industry. That program's called Become a Bookkeeper, and I affectionately call it Babs. And then I have another program that teaches those who are strong in their skills how to turn them into a profitable part-time bookkeeping business. That program is Life by the Books, which I nicknamed Libby. Outside of those programs, I also have a course that I built in 2018 to educate U.S.-based solopreneurs on the financial side of their business. And one of my favorite things is my library of templates for sale, mostly catering to entrepreneurs who are not bookkeepers. Serena asked me to give just one or two pieces of advice for anyone interested in creating a course. It's so hard for me to narrow that down. The truth is that I actively pursued passive income for almost a year and a half in the form of a course before I finally realized that bookkeeping had the potential to be more stable and passive than courses. It wasn't until I booked out my bookkeeping business that courses really started to succeed for me. I think that they're an excellent addition to an already stable business and absolutely have the power to stand on their own. But the same principles that helped me grow my bookkeeping business also helped me have successful courses. Be good at what you teach, deliver it in a way that is simple yet effective, and market it honestly and with real human connection at its core. Oh, and definitely use Kajabi. You can find me most on Instagram at Orderly Accounting by Katie or at my podcast, Profits and Prosecco. Hello, ambitious bookkeepers. My name is Keila Hill Trawick, and I, along with my co-founder Kelly Liu, founded Accountants of Color in late 2020. Accountants of Color is a community of BIPOC accountants, and we're really aiming to revolutionize our industry with diversity. AOC operates both a free Facebook group as a safe space for BIPOC accountants, and then a paid membership for all entrepreneurial accountants looking to start or grow a firm. In terms of our course, if you will, um, we have an ongoing membership that accountants pay monthly for. It includes ongoing videos, guest speakers, community calls, all about the things that you need to kind of build your own accounting firm. And we specifically have a focus on Black and Indigenous people of color because we know that a lot of us just don't get access to that information. Kelly and I often talk about how much easier our lives would have been starting our firms if we had just had some of this advice. And so we're really honored to be able to bring that forward, both through our voices and the voices of other accountants in our community. In terms of advice, 
My advice, my first piece of advice would really be to recognize that courses are not passive income. I know that that gets thrown around a lot and you listening to this podcast, you know that that's not true, but I want to reiterate that they take a lot of work, especially at the beginning. And a lot of that work is active planning and building. Me and Kelly were on marathon phone calls, just kind of laying out what this would look like, what each week should look like. How can we make this consistent and efficient? And I think starting from a place that we knew it was going to be work, it was easier for us to assess our bandwidth and our desires to figure out what this membership would look like. That plan can help you to make the outline easier and create content on a schedule that works for you. I mean, Kelly and I both run our own accounting firm, so this wasn't our only job. We had kind of some, quote, downtime in November where we built out a lot of it. We laid out a schedule for ourselves, taking into account our own busy periods. And I think if we initially thought we could just show up, we would have undersold, but we would have also not really provided the experience that we were hoping to give people. It's a lot of the back end is what do I want this to look like? How often do I need to show up? How often do I need to check in? You know, it's not just building the thing. You also have to tell people why they should come. So just knowing that, um, being real about the fact that it's more than just showing up and you got to be willing to do the behind the scenes work to make it a success can go a long way at the beginning of helping you build out what this even looks out looks like all right can I give two pieces if I can give two pieces the other piece of advice would be keep building and recording and creating no matter how many people are watching or listening whether that is audio because you have um, audio only or a podcast as part of your course or it's videos that you're making as content you want to keep making it because you never know where it's going to end up I would say that our ability to host a resource library, a video resource library within the AOC membership was really because of how many videos we made every single week as we were building an audience. So of course, then we didn't know that this is where it would end up. But as the membership evolved, we were grateful for the videos that we didn't think we needed. Those videos that we were like, oh, nobody even watched last week. Do we have to make one this week? We're looking at the stats and being like, oh, nobody showed up for this call. But them being able to rewatch it later, being able to now tag it and filter it so that people can find the videos that are helpful for them. All of that was built out of this content that we were consistently making so that when this resource library came about, we had over a hundred videos to share. All right, so if you want to find out more about Accountants of Color, our mission, and our community, find us at accountantsofcolor.co and on Instagram at Accountants of Color. We welcome BIPOC accountants to join our Facebook group. And if you join our newsletter, you can submit to be in the directory, which was built to amplify Black and Indigenous people of color by acting as a resource for those looking to hire us. The directory is really cool. We've gotten a lot of great feedback and accountants who have gotten hired from there. It allows people to filter by various tags and identifiers and it also gives some guidelines of how people should use it that they're not negotiating you down from your worth that they are treating you with professionalism like it's important that our community get built up in all of the ways that we know how and that free directory is one way for us to do so you can find out more about the directory at accountantsofcolor.co slash directory Hey everybody, my name is Noemi Aguilar Horta. I am the founder of the Mom Accounts Bookkeeping course. My course is dedicated for moms who are starting off trying to master and learn the skill set of bookkeeping without a degree, fancy office, or having to spend endless time wasted on trying to figure this out on their own. If I could give a piece of advice for anyone interested in creating a course, I would 100% say sell it before you make it, right? I think when we're starting off a course and we're doing something, we want to first know that our audience wants it, right? That this is what they need. And the best feedback for you to get on uh, creating your course is when you can have beta students come on in, which number one is going to money motivate you to create this course. And as you have beta students coming in, they're going to help you make sure that you have an idea of what your crowd, what your audience, what you know, the people that you're speaking to throughout this course actually need. So definitely sell it before 
you actually make it. And again, I think that's that's a really, really good tip. And many ways you can connect with me, actually. I am on TikTok as Noemi Aguilar Horta. I love, love, love sharing information for aspiring bookkeepers, business owners, right? So completely help continue to educate ladies in that field so that they can be prepared to help their clients in the bookkeeping industry. And I also have a Facebook uh, group called Mom Accounts Bookkeeping Community, where you can also connect with me there. And I am looking forward to, you know, hearing from you girls that are creating your courses and, you know, good luck. Talk to you soon. Bye, ladies. Wasn't that just amazing to hear from these women and their advice for you? So if you are still considering creating a course, I want to remind you that you can get a course niche guide at ambitiousbookkeeper.com slash niche, N-I-C-H-E, and that will redirect you to James Wedmore's niche guide for course creation. And he's actually putting on a Nail Your Niche Masterclass coming up here. So make sure you download that guide and you'll get the alert for the masterclass. There will be two happening, one on Tuesday, April 19th, and one on Wednesday, April 20th. And one last reminder, each week you can enter to win the workshops bundle, which is usually on sale for $79. You get access to the 1099 workshop, a sales tax workshop, and the last round of the bookkeeping biz workshops. All you have to do is snap a screenshot of you listening to this episode, type in one takeaway or aha that you had from the episode and tag me. Also, it would be amazing if you subscribed and reviewed as a bonus. <laughs> It'll help more people find this podcast and get it into more people's earbuds. So thank you again so much for listening each week, and I will talk to you next time. Thank you to everyone who helps make this podcast possible. Content and interviews are produced by me, Serena Shoup. Our intro and outro music is written and performed by my brother, Ian Gilliam. Editing is also by Ian using his awesome sound engineering skills along with Descript software. Hosting and publishing is by Buzzsprout. And you can check out the show notes for links to all of these amazing resources and resources mentioned in the episode. Embrace ambition.